hey guys, we're doing a video like this, um, where it's more of a free form where I'm talking to you. Let me know if you like videos like this down in the comments, and we'll do a few, you know, every now and then. And today I want to talk about something I actually mentioned in my video yesterday. Um, and I think this is very important, and I think it's something that's not taught enough. I think it's something that there's a lot of confusion about. And it's the idea of making mistakes. And I may have gone over this concept before, but I want to go over it again. Because yesterday I gave a drill uh, to all of you about um, basically a quick foot drill that when done correctly, when you're doing it to the best of your ability, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. The problem is mistakes are seen as this terrible thing that you should avoid at all costs, but the actual nature of this drill doesn't work if you're not making mistakes every now and then. And so I wanted to go over the concept of mistakes really quick and why, although you shouldn't aim to make them, you should develop a different relationship with them. Because a mistake can either be something that draws you back or brings you back and brings you down, or you can use it as something that becomes a stepping stone or something that, from which you learn from. So if you haven't watched the video from yesterday, go back and watch the drill I gave. And you'll notice this drill, in order to be done well, you need to do it so fast and to the best of your ability and you need to be trying new things and that's going to mean mistakes are going to happen. So with your training, with everything, if you're making no mistakes, you're playing it safe and you're not gonna grow, you're not gonna learn if you're doing things in that way. So we need to develop a new relationship with mistakes. And again, this does not mean you are deliberately making mistakes. This does not mean that you are aiming to make mistakes. What this means is you're okay with making mistakes. Now, when you're in games, you don't want to make mistakes, but every single great player needs to take calculated risks, risks, especially if you're an attacking player. And the best way to really work on this is in your own training. So if you're doing the drill that I showed yesterday in the video and you're only going to the point where you're never making a mistake, you're not gonna get that much better at the drill. Your feet are not gonna get that much faster. You're not gonna be able to do these moves in more combinations, because guess what? If you wanna try and do certain moves or certain combinations, you're gonna have to fail a few times, a lot of times actually, before it connects, before you get it, before you realize, oh, okay, this. You know, and the quickest way to get the move is to just keep doing it, analyzing your mistakes and to learn from them. And this aversion to mistakes is holding you back. Mistakes are not a bad thing. Failure is not a bad thing. For whatever reason, we've been taught that it is. For whatever reason, we've been taught that the last thing you want to do is make a mistake. The last thing you want to do is quote unquote fail. But if you look at any successful player, any successful anyone, their mistakes, their failures were the bedrock for their success. So just an idea to throw at you because I still see this in my comments a lot. I still see a lot of players who are so afraid to move, so afraid to do anything because they're terrified of making mistakes or quote unquote failing. Again, I'm not a big believer in you should fail as fast as possible because that sounds like you should be doing it deliberately, but I'm a huge believer in moving, in going, in doing, iterating and analyzing along the way, the mistakes and everything else. So. See if you can put yourself more in that mindset in your training, um, in your drills, in just your everyday life, and watch as you continue to grow faster because you're now learning from your mistakes and you're not afraid to make mistakes, which is allowing you to play better. All right, guys, that's it for today. Let me know if you like little mini lessons like this and we'll do more. Ciao.